All right, good morning, members. Let's take a look at the uh, situation we got here going on with um, the four video trades, cradle to grave trades we're still doing. Uh, swing point high. This is gold uh, stocks, breaks out, right? So Friday, you get a breakout, volume's not huge yet, and uh, you've already had a big push up, and it's not giving anything back. It's got another swing point high. It's going after here as well this week. And uh, if we pull it back, look at it here on a uh, daily basis, you have the same thing. Swing point high breaks right there. You see the arrows. So you get two breaks here. You get one break on the weekly. That's multiple time frames. This thing should try to extend. If we look at uh, gold itself, a little bit different of a story there. And actually, that's one of the things we need to be watching is gold. Can, can gold get back up? to and get over the swing point high that's here so we, we actually have uh, you know some some points in between for example we have a swing point high here and then we've got another one up here and so to me these are the critical points this week on gold itself if that gdx is going to continue this one's going to have to continue as well i would like to see it up here taking out this one by the end of the week and so that's GLD, the GDX we already have. This would take it up to the highs. You're not going to get a breakout on multiple swing point highs here, uh, you know, unless this thing goes uh, six bars, which would be another week uh, this week. And so, you know, if we don't make this high this week, then potentially next week you break them both out and you get multiple time frame breakouts here as well. So. I think gold, gold stock's looking good. As you know, we've got good positions in both. We tried to get some more GDX Friday. Uh, we tried to get uh, Newmont as well. Uh, they took off. We'll try again uh, today on those. If we look at the um, KMI trade, you know, KMI we've held now for quite a while. Um, haven't been able to do much with it as it just stays in this small range. Uh, you got the... Uh, Meeting coming up this Sunday, I believe, uh, with the Saudi and all the other ministers. And that range has, has held this entire time. And you kind of have the two ranges. I wanted to see it get into this area. I've been patient trying to wait on it to come back to the swing point high. You know, if we can get down into that area, I think we'll have a good setup there to make a buy. Uh, we'll see if we get that volatility uh, that creates that. If this, in fact, just goes sideways long enough, right, then eventually we're going to get a push to this big breakdown bars top. And so we, we want to try to find a place into it somewhere in here for that next push, whenever that may come. And finally, let's go to our big winner last week, which was VRX. Uh, we were able to get in down here at the lows, get that nice spike up. We sold some. Uh, I think three different times on the way up here. Now we're starting to get the pullback. The very first pullback on a daily chart is the swing point highs bullish retest regen. And so it will be important to see how it behaves. If you notice that uh, that high actually is right into uh, this big bars low. It's into the top of the swing point low. So all these place uh, these price points are important. Uh, the top here is 31.59. The bottom there is 33. Uh, we traded as low as uh, 33.67 on Friday. So this is going to be the test. And that low there on the high is 32.42. We're going to want to buy into the retrace. And we're going to have to pick our spot. Now, anytime I'm watching these stocks and, uh, you know, something this volatile, what I do is I pull over. And let me just grab this chart and expand it. I pull over to an intraday chart and start looking for price points there of where I want to try and get something, right? And so the key spot here, as you see my horizontal lines already drawn in, is this area in here. Uh, that's about the 31 area. And if I pull this back a little bit farther, you'll see why. Let's grab it so we can still see it. So let's let's uh, clean this up here so we can get it. There it is. So you see the top of this big wide price spread bar. You know that was the key bar on the way up. We we got the buys down into this area. Now you're getting the push back up, 
And so the question becomes, you know, what is this thing going to do? Let me get this out of the way. What is this going to do on the retrace? You know, how far can it go? Well, the key here, if you look at this, the top of this bar, 3124. The bottom of this big wide price bright high volume bar is 3107. So the, the area that you really want to try to get a hold of is around $31, you know, anywhere from 31 to about 31, um, 3150. So 3107 here, 3124 here, and I say 50 because um, you're going to see uh, potentially those people wanting to get long, you know, try to front run that move back down. So we're not that far away, you know, and this stock can certainly move $2 in a heartbeat. And so we're going to want to look in that area and put our orders in. And I'll be putting some orders in here after this show this morning. That's where we're at. That's what we're doing. I'll see you later. Bye.